Hi there. Welcome to the session on the science behind Body Pump. The fitness industry is constantly searching for training methods that will burn the most amount of calories in the shortest amount of time possible. When it comes to resistance training, what is the best approach to maximize caloric expenditure? We know that lifting weights is one of the fastest ways to burn calories and create lean muscle. Les Mills Body Pump is based on the principle that lifting lighter weights for a high number of repetitions will create the same workload as the more traditional approach of lifting heavy weights for less reps. The high number of repetitions generate muscular fatigue to tone and strengthen the body and burn calories. We call this the rep effect. One of the biggest factors affecting caloric expenditure is the activity of large muscle groups. Let's consider the squat. The effort required to perform this exercise is influenced by two variables, the load we are lifting and how fast we are lifting it, or the total distance we move in a specific time interval. So what causes the greatest energy output, slow or fast contractions? In body pump language, a slow four and four tempo or the faster singles. Previous studies are conflicted on the answer to this question. The argument for slow contractions is that you spend more time controlling the movement, therefore reaching fatigue more quickly. On the opposing side, the support for fast contractions is based on the recruitment of inefficient, fast twitch muscle fibres, which require more energy. The existing disagreement between training methods led us to put weight and speed in body pump squats to the test. We took 15 participants between the ages of 18 and 40 and had them perform four separate squat conditions in a random order. Each condition was devised to produce the same amount of work for four minutes. Here's how the four conditions looked. In condition one, they lifted a five kilogram weight at a contraction speed of one second. That's 120 repetitions in total. In condition two, they lifted 10 kilograms at a speed of one contraction every two seconds for a total of 60 repetitions. Condition three was 15 kilograms at a speed of three seconds for a total of 40 repetitions. And condition four, 20 kilograms at a speed of four seconds for 30 repetitions altogether. The key factor to consider with each of these four conditions is the fact that the amount of work done in each of them was exactly the same. You can see this in a simple formula. Work equals force times distance, which in our case is weight times the number of reps. You'll see that in each of these scenarios, the work output was exactly the same. And it is this fact that enables us to compare the caloric expenditure values. The results conclusively prove that the faster tempos burn the most calories. Despite the fact that they were lifting a smaller weight, participants expended 29.3% more energy during the five kilogram conditions with faster repetitions compared to the 20 kilogram condition with a slower tempo. In other words, it's the number of reps or the speed of the movement that generates the greatest energy expenditure, not the weight of the load. It is likely that the higher rate of energy expenditure, despite the lighter loads, is due to the recruitment of faster twitch muscle fibers. Simply put, we burn the most calories with a lighter weight for faster repetitions. Body Pump is therefore the perfect program to really capitalize on these results as we complete lots of fast contractions in every class. Now to get the best of both worlds, you need to keep the fast tempo and increase your weights. Once you've achieved a base training level, progressively increasing your weights will really maximize the amazing results this program has to offer. So there you have it, proof that Body Pump really is the ultimate calorie burning workout as we complete over 800 reps in every class. Thanks for watching, see you next time.